Yo man, let's do this. Just like every single challenge, I'm gonna do it first and you just follow the lead. Simple. And as I've said, nothing really happens, nothing really changes in your brain unless you actually do the challenge and take the action. And every single challenge will become harder and harder to rewire your brain more and more. Now this next challenge is really easy to do. It is a little win. It is what we call the winner effect. It gives you a small spike in testosterone because you get this little victory by doing the action and getting that feedback into your brain. And that is how we build on it continuously step by step. Now this next challenge has two parts. The first one, you have to take a picture of a food that you feel is amazing. It tastes so good and is really good for you. The second part of the challenge is you take a picture of a food that tastes amazing, you love it, but it is actually really bad for you. I'm right now in a pizza place and let me show you what my foods are. So these, and I'm gonna, I've already taken pictures of these foods so you'll see that. These are the foods that are actually good for me and I'm gonna eat right here as I eat uh, in this restaurant. These are good for me, the kimchi, the coconut milk kefir, the kombucha, as well as the bone broth. And the bone broth is actually really good to break a fast and all of these are amazing for your gut bacteria. These are the live, uh, this is what most of your body is made of, these gut bacteria and these foods are amazing for that. Now, the foods that, are, that taste really good but actually are bad and make me feel really bad after, let me show you what those are these two slices of pizza that I'm about to eat with the garlic sauce as well as this entire box of peanut butter cookies that I'm gonna eat even though they're vegan they're, they have a lot of sugar and these the s'mores chocolate chip cookie now look I just got back to Toronto okay let me fix this camera a little bit I just got back to Toronto and this dessert this vegan dessert is literally my favorite thing in the world and I'm gonna eat this entire bag of, ch of peanut butter cookies right now so I'm gonna eat these two slices of pizza. I'm gonna eat, uh, and I'm gonna eat this kimchi, uh, uh, kombucha, and, 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 and coconut milk kefir, and bone broth at the same time to balance it. And then I'm gonna completely ravish this entire uh, box as well as the cookie. And remember, when I was first uh, in Toronto nine months ago, I was vegan for seven months. And that's why I ate so many of these vegan desserts. So those of you who are vegan, be careful. Don't eat too much sugar. A lot of vegans uh, make that mistake and eat a lot of sugar. So I'm gonna post these two pictures. These, this is your challenge number two. Now, why is this important for your brain? Why is this important for your development? Look, when I drink kombucha, right? When I drink this, or when I break my 81 hour fast like I did last time, I broke it with this chicken broth. Uh, or when I, for breakfast, uh, when I break my fast, I have this coconut milk kefir with uh, acai powder and, and organic granola and stuff. Or when I have this kimchi for my gut. These foods are, because I feel really good after, my brain gets this feedback that not only do these foods taste good, but they make me feel good after, right? So this is, there's this biofeedback that goes from the body movement, which is the actual eating, and the actual feeling back to the brain that I, and then I realize that these foods make me feel really good. But then when we have these foods, right? And these will make me feel really good uh, while I'm eating them, but after I will have a low energy, I will try to fall asleep, I will wanna take a nap, and also not feel very good in my body. And that timing will tell my brain that I should not eat this too often, maybe for a cheat day or something like today, but not too often. So this biofeedback is really important. And when you post this photo on Facebook, on the group, that's also really important because now you are taking a second action, you're getting comments from people, you're getting that engagement and that feedback from the environment, from your friends and your brothers in the Testosterone Truth group. So now that feedback will allow you to have less cheat days and, and less uh, bad food in your body. All right, this is the theory, this is the neuroscience behind all of this.
That's the kombucha. This is the coconut milk kefir, so good. Mm. Mm. And of course, the kimchi. So spicy. Mm. These are really good brands too. Bone broth. This is perfect to break a fast because it allows the new food that you eat to be absorbed much better than if you just started eating cookies and ice cream or burgers and, and stuff like that when you break your fast. So this is really good for breaking a fast. Mmm. Mm, so good. And feel free to actually post a video of you eating these two foods, the good and the bad. Instead of just put, posting a photo, do a video that's some bonus points. And do the photo like I did. Follow my lead. All right, man, now it's your turn. Follow my lead. Just like I posted this in the Testosterone Truth group, it is now your turn. Nothing will happen in your body, in your brain, unless you actually take that action. So post that photo. I read and watch every single post in our Facebook group. So make sure you do it. I may not like or comment on it, but I do watch everything and I'm gonna be looking out for yours. All right, it's go time, man. Do this challenge right now and make sure you don't forget to put hashtag challenge two. That is how I will find this challenge. So post the challenge, write whatever you like in the description, in the caption, but make sure you write hashtag challenge two as the first thing, all right? I'll see you tomorrow for challenge number three. Bye, man. Oh, before I go, let me also take a taste of this. Instead of taking it later, I'm just gonna take everything now so you can see me eat it. These are the s'mores cookies, the vegan cookies. Oh my God. And this right here, I'm gonna eat this entire box after. Mm. Look, I could eat this entire thing and I can't resist, it's that good. Mm. Mm. These cookies, even though they're vegan and the ingredients are good, there's so much sugar in them. When I eat the whole thing, no energy after. My God. Anyway, that's it for me. See you soon. Love you, man.